Okay, so we know that production quality on Twitch is getting better pretty much every day, and people are constantly trying to innovate. How can they make their streams look better? I think the first person that comes to mind when I think about production quality on Twitch streams is Dr. Disrespect. He's pretty much like the OG of taking green screening and transitions to the next level. From the various different scenes that he had to a different stinger for each screen, he pretty much set the precedent and snowball effect for what future streamers are going to be doing from now on. You've seen other mainstream streamers start to pick up on transition effects too, like Tim the Tatman, he's got a custom singer now. Nick Merckx, he has a custom singer now. Ninja has a custom singer. It's really to incorporate and to sell their branding as a product. Now, one thing I wanna show you today is not only how to set up your custom stinger transitions, but I wanna show you how to take those to the next level with an OBS plugin called Transition Table. Transition Table will take you from using the basic cut and fade transitions to awesome multiple stinger transitions for multiple scenes. Let's hop into it. It has been a hot minute since we have been on this setup. I'm excited to show you guys all the best ways to do transitions uh, for OBS. So before we jump into OBS, I wanna show you what we're gonna be using today. It's called Transition Table, if I didn't already talk about that in the intro. To do that, we're gonna open Chrome and we're going to go download that. So it's just on obsproject.com um, and it is a plugin called Transition Table. The one I'm using is 015 for this build. Just click on download and then I just use the installer. When you click it, it's gonna be a zip file. Just go ahead, extract it and install it. Make sure it installs to wherever OBS is installed. It will ask you if you wanna replace the folder while you're installing it. Just click yes. It's not gonna break anything. Make sure you restart your computer after you install it. That way everything runs smoothly. Thank you. Once you've installed it to confirm that it is actually in fact in OBS, just go up to tools and you'll see transition table at the bottom right there. Now. Before we start using transition table, I wanna make sure that you do understand that there are a couple things you can do with transitions. So down here at the bottom right corner, uh, I have set up a couple scenes for this. Uh, you can first go and make sure that you have multiple scene transitions just by clicking the arrows. And there are a couple that are defaulted like cut, fade, and swipe. And then these three here that you see, Nova, Glitch, and Kinetic are actually stingers that I have added. They are all nerd or die stinger transitions, I believe, if I remember correctly. And basically a stinger transition is what we're going to be using today unless you wanna use your other transitions like fade, cut, or swipe. So if you didn't know, you could actually override scene transitions on dedicated scenes by right clicking on them and then going to transition override. And basically every time you would go to this scene, it would only ever use that transition. However, it wouldn't use that transition when you would go back to say the just starting screen. So if I didn't wanna just fade from that to the gaming every single time, I would set a transition and set it to the kinetic instead. However, the cool thing about transition table is it allows you to jump from any scene and use any transition because it reads what scene you're coming from and going to. So first we're gonna to go to tools and we're gonna open up transition table and it's just gonna be a nice little blank slate. Let's open this just a little bit so you can see it here. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to just work my way down with my scenes. I like OBS to be very clean when I'm doing this because I like to have everything organized. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go with my stream starting screen here. And when I'm doing my streams, anytime I go from the starting screen, which you're seeing here, I always go to just chatting, we always start the streams off with just chatting to help people with their setups with any of their problems that they're having a stream or if they just want to talk in general so you know feel free to follow the channel in the link down below and so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go from the starting screen which is what you see in the background now and we're going to go to just chatting and i'm going to set this to a glitch transition and you don't have to worry about the duration because this is specifically a stinger transition you don't have to worry about that because I've already set the properties of the stinger transition in the transition properties down here. So just click set to make sure that it actually takes. Otherwise, when you do this, it won't work. If you don't click set, it's actually not going to remember that it's there. So now if we go from starting to just chatting, <laughs> you can see that we're in the just chatting screen now because we are in the same room 
that these are on. Side note, I don't know who clipped this on my page and I hate you for clipping it because now I know what everyone's going to associate this face with and it's literally one of the top viewed clips on my page. So thanks for that. This is my channel. You can't do this to me. Now let's go ahead and open up transition table again and we are going to go from the just chatting screen to let's say the first main gaming screen, right? Now, I like to make sure that whenever I'm going from my just chatting to my gaming that I use a signature stinger for this. I use a different stinger for every transition because I want to make sure that each time I use it, you know that it's something different is happening. That's why I like using different stingers because it keeps it fresh. It keeps it changing the same stinger and over and over again. It gets a little boring after a little while. And if you actually pay attention when we're going from just chatting to any of my four gaming scenes that I have, I'm actually using the same transition from just chatting to gaming. But when I go, let's say from gaming back to just chatting, it's a different stinger. Or if I jump right into gaming from starting, it's a different stinger. They're always specifically denoted to what I'm going to. So for the just chatting to the main gaming, what I use for this is I actually use the Nova transition from nerd or die. And we're going to click set. Now, the cool thing is, is that it still remembers this. So anytime I'm going from just chatting, I also want to set it to my SMZ3. That is a randomizer that I do with my friend. And then we're going to set it to my speed running for Pokemon, which I do, as well as speed running for Super Metroid that I do. And now when you reset these, it's actually going to show you everything you've done so far. And now that you can see that we have all of the just chatting set up to any of my gaming scenes, if you close this and go from just chatting to, let's say, the main gaming, it's going to use the Nova transition now. But because I don't have the main gaming to say the SMZ3, it's going to actually use whatever the default is. So now it's going to use the fade transition because I don't have any of these set. I only have the ones that are already currently set. So like the starting to just chatting, we'll use the glitch. And then from here, it's going to be using the, uh, the Nova, but I didn't wait long enough for the transition. That's why I didn't use it there. So if I sit here and wait a couple seconds for the transition to reset, then when I go into main gaming, it's going to use Nova. Now on the flip side, let's say I want to set up going from any gaming scene back into my just chatting scene. What I would do first is I know I'm always going to be landing on the just chatting. So that way we're going to filter it out to just be ending in just chatting. So now we're going to go from the main gaming and I'm going to use the kinetic stinger for this one. And we're going to set it and then we're going to go for all of the other gaming ones. We're going to set the same theme because what I'm doing now is when you reset this, now you're actually going to see that anytime I go from a gaming scene to the just chatting stream specifically, it's going to be kinetic. But when I go from the starting to just chatting, it's the glitch. The glitch is the one that initiates the stream. And then anytime that I jump out of a game back into just chatting, it's going to be the kinetic one. So if you want to see what that looks like now, when we go from the gaming into the just chatting, it's like a cool wipe effect basically. And now when we go from just chatting to say Pokemon, it's going to use the Nova. And then when we want to go back to just chatting, it's going to use the wipe. Now, lastly, there is one more feature of transition table that I wanted to show you that actually allows you to read and it's called any. And so in transition table, I don't know why it always does this in transition table, you can actually set one called any. So basically when you go from any scene, any of the scenes I've created over here to a dedicated scene, we're going to call this one right monitor. And there's a reason for this. Basically it says, anytime you go to this scene, we're going to use this transition that you set it and you don't have to set a dedicated one from each single one. So for this one, we're going to use the swipe effect. So when we uh, set that and then we hit close. Now, when we go to the right monitor this is what it looks like this is an actual scene that i also use when i want to show what's on twitter or what's happening in discord anytime anybody shows anything fun in discord and i want to show it on stream i'll use this transition what's cool is that you can feel that pull and then when you want to go back in what i like to do to kind of keep that motion going is now when i'm going from the right monitor to any scene i will do the reverse i created another scene transition called swipe right so it's the reverse effect of it and when you set it now when you go back to just chatting it's going to go the opposite way so if we go from here to here you can see how it's doing the opposite of that and actually i think what i did with these is i actually made them swipe in on each one because if i check these really fast and we go into properties and set swipe and then we go it yeah i believe that's actually how i have it look 
But now, anytime you go from the right monitor to any scene, it's always going to swipe back. And the one thing that's really cool about this is sometimes I like to just show things on stream. This is the monitor that I use to show clips as well. When someone shows me a clip, I will quickly swipe over from, say, my speedrunning scene or let's say from my Pokemon scene. I will quickly just go back and forth so I can just do this and it doesn't waste any time because sometimes singers take a while and sometimes I just want to swipe over real quick, watch the clip and then go right back into the game. The only drawback to this is that if you notice on the left hand side, it actually categorizes them alphabetically. If you set two any transitions on the from side, the one that is below will take priority. So that means if I have from any scene to this monitor and any scene to this monitor, the one on the bottom is going to take priority even if you don't want it to. So sometimes what will happen is that you'll the wrong transition will play and you have to make sure you understand the proper order that you set things. And that my friends is how you use transition table. And you can take this even one step farther by using something called move transition, which is a whole nother video that I could make about how to make your video overlays animated and slide around screen rather than just doing stinger transitions. You could actually have it so like your face cam slides from here to here, maybe to over here. It's a whole bunch of ways that you could do that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Can I help you, sir? I don't know what he's smelling. He's just, he's just saying, oh, his nose is so cold and so wet. Oh, he's just got a little wet kitty nose. Hi, what are you smelling, buddy?